Hey, welcome back to the channel. How are you? Okay, so, right, I've been curious lately. I'm 54 years old. I've got rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease. Um, and I try to live as healthy as possible, try and eat healthy, I try and exercise, but having rheumatoid arthritis does limit me a little bit to how much I can lift and how often I can train, depending on how bad my joints are. Really frustrating. Play the smallest violin. Me, me, me. <laughs> anyway, right? So, so at 54, with rheumatoid arthritis, I did wonder, hmm, what are my testosterone levels like at 54? Because everybody talks about as you get older, your testosterone level decreases. So it'll be interesting to know. I mean, I've exercised pretty much most of my adult life and, I, and, I've, and I've eaten pretty healthy most of my adult life. So it will be interesting to know if my testosterone has taken a dip. So what I've done is I bought a test because uh, <laughs> trying to get uh, a testosterone test from the doctor currently with everything going on is pretty difficult. So I thought I'd just buy a test online. This was only 29 quid. Uh, I think it was on offer. Um, so it's pretty good. And you just do the test, uh, stick it in a packet, send it off, and they give you results online within 48 hours. How cool is that? That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, I've got no links to these many checks. You can get whatever one you want. It's not a sponsored ad. Um, you know, just get whatever, which one you want. But this, this one for me was the cheapest one, whatever that one. Um, yeah, so let's open the kit up and have a look what's inside. Okay, so what have we got here? Let's have a look. Okay, some instructions, finger pick instructions. Uh, that's a code to activate your kit. I think you need to go online and activate your kit so they know where you are. These are the fingerprint, uh, finger prick things. I think you just take them off, pop them on your finger and bam, bobs your uncle. And I need to get, from a finger prick, I need to get all my blood in that. <laughs> You're having a laugh, ain't you? <laughs> I don't know how much yet. I'll have to read the instructions. Uh, it's got a wipe, alcohol wipe, wipe your hand, a plaster for your body. Oh, I've got a little bad here in my hand, I need a plaster. Don't need anything. Uh, stereo cleansing wipe, prep pad, okay. And your postage thing. Pretty good. They could do your posters as well. What's this? And I think this is the bag you, you, you slap it into. So you wallop it in there to keep it safe. Bam. Okay. So, some of the instructions are you, you, you've got to do it between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. And you can't eat and you can only drink water. Now, I would advise you to drink plenty of water. You want your, you want your blood nice and runny. You don't want to be dehydrated and have it really thick. Okay, and you can't get the blood out. So I'm gonna just drink a little bit more water uh, and then get on with the test. So before we do anything, we need to activate the kit. So I've been on, created an account and logged in. And now it's asking me to activate the kit. So all I have to do is put in my activation code, which was in the actual kit itself. Okay, so it says you need to wash your hands in warm water. And the reason is warm water because it stimulates the blood. If, you get, if your hands are cold, the blood goes away from the skin. So that's no good. Oh, this is really warm. Ow. <laughs> so that's my hands all washed nice and clean. Makes a change. <laughs> okay. So it says you should select your third or fourth finger from your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed. So I'm selecting my left hand and I'm going to use my middle finger. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use this finger uh, and then let's get the pinprick. Bam! Get some blood in that test tube. Okay, I've got my instructions here. <laughs> got the alcohol wipe. I'm using that middle finger. So I'm going to give it a nice clean. Bam! Do, 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 da, da, da. Right, that's done. Now I've got to snap one of these off. Okay, and then pop that in there. Hang on, let's get that ready. Get my test tube ready. I've got to fill it up to the upper line. They're having a laugh, ain't they? Okay. Let's <laughs> pop that in there. <laughs> and then what I've got to do then is go like that and I push down. 
Actually, it doesn't really hurt that much. <laughs> I want my mammy. Now, now, apparently, you've got to get rid of the first bit of blood. And then the rest of it then... Oh, it's coming out quite quick. Look, that's, I've warmed my hands and drunk plenty of water. And I'm getting plenty of blood from there now. Have some of that. How am I going to fill it up to the upper line? What? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's coming up pretty... Wow, okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I hope we don't fear for the sight of blood. It's coming out loads. Look at that. Okay. So I finally did it. I got it up to the upper level. All right. Tip some on the table. Fuming. <laughs> okay, and I waited, which took me a bit longer. Do you know what? It took me probably about three to five minutes it wasn't that long let's clean the blood off that table <laughs> there you go <laughs> there we are and then if you want to you can put the plaster on but i'm gonna go i'm you know i'm a warrior i don't need a plaster <laughs> so what you do next you just fill out this label wrap it around your sample like so. So it's got your name, address, date of birth, gender, time of test, whatever. I don't think they were able to complete the test unless you put a label on it. Then I think you put the sample in the bio bag. Pop it in the envelope. And just seal it up. Okay, that's it. Job done. All I gotta do now is stick it in the post. Bam, I'll have my results hopefully in a couple of days. So the results are in. Anyway, so the results are back and it's good. But it isn't good. It's a bittersweet uh, result. The reason being is it's a decent result. Let me show you what the results are. So my results came back at 12.9 nanomoles per litre. And it says uh, that the range is between 6.68 and 25.7 nanomoles per litre. Now this 6.68 is like super low. That is ridiculously low. I would never like to have my testosterone that low. Um, most people, uh, most doctors in the UK, and endocrinologists, they tend, tend to say below eight is low. But I came in at 12.9. So nanomoles per litre is what they measure in the UK and I think most of Europe. Uh, in America, it's nanograms per deciliter. So let's have a look what, what I am in nanograms per deciliter. So 12.9 nanomoles per litre and 372 nanograms per deciliter. So what are normal levels? In adults, 19 years and older, 240 to 950 nanograms per deciliter. Although again, this 240 measurement is pretty low. Um, so I've come in at uh, 372. So 372 nanograms per deciliter, or 12.9 nanomoles per liter, I get confused with these figures. Uh, it's a pretty good result for someone at 54. <laughs> but the reason it's bittersweet is because I was hoping that the cause of my rheumatoid arthritis was uh, my autoimmune disease was to do with low testosterone levels, but they're not that low. So I'm like, ah! But on the good point, it shows that the doing exercise, eating healthy and sleeping well, does keep your testosterone levels higher even when you're older. So I don't really need to have uh, TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, I don't need it. Um, I wish I'd done a free testosterone as well as total testosterone. That's a waste of a wish, isn't it, really? I should have wished for like 10 million pounds, but here we are. It's wasted though. <laughs> so, yeah, I wish I'd done a, a free testosterone um, test. 
So your free testosterone should be around 2% of your total testosterone. Now you can still um, have symptoms of low testosterone, even if you have your total testosterone is fine, if your free testosterone is too low. Um, so if I do another test, I will get that included as well. But hey, it's a good result. It's a good result for my age. I'm 54, I got good testosterone levels for my age. Happy with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.